Hi, I'm Professor Don Mueller, although I'm perhaps better known as Dr. Bones. Today we're going to talk about how you can use linear algebra in chemistry. In this case, we're going to be balancing chemical reactions using linear algebra. The system I'm going to start with is the chemical reaction with NH3 ammonia plus O2 oxygen forming N2 nitrogen and H2O, the water molecule. So we have three atomic species here. We have N nitrogen, H hydrogen, and O oxygen. So to set up these homogeneous equations in, in the matrix form, we're going to need the three atomic species and include four variables. We have four variables, in this case W, X, Y, and Z, because we're going to put them in front of each of these atomic species. In this case, we've got three atomic species, but we have four molecular species. NH3, O2, N2, H2O. So in front of NH3, we've got W. In front of O2, X. In front of N2, Y. In front of H2O, Z. Now we can set up the equations. With respect to nitrogen, we have W equals 2Y. W here meaning one nitrogen, but Y here meaning two nitrogens. So we see the relationships. W equals 2Y. We can rewrite this as W minus 2Y equals zero. And we're going to continue this process which, with each of these species. So going back, we've got hydrogen. Here we have hydrogen, 3W. And we've got the water molecule, which has two hydrogens, 2Z. So 3W equals 2Z, or 3W minus 2Z equals zero. And the final atomic species is oxygen. Going back, we see we've got X, 2X for oxygen, and we've got Z here because we've got one oxygen in the water molecule. So 2X equals Z, or 2X minus Z equals zero. So these are the equations we can put into the matrix. Finally, we're into the matrix. So linear algebra, we see along the top, W, X, Y, Z, and this augmented part of the matrix here, N, we can have any number we desire. Here we're setting them equal to zero, so we've got zeros in each of these columns, or excuse me, each of these rows. So we go across, we've got one, minus two, zero, zero. Three, zero, zero, minus two, zero. And finally, zero, two, zero, minus one, zero. Reduce row echelon form. As we run through these equations, we can do the matrix mechanics. The reduce row echelon form gives us what we're looking for. We look to the column Z. We've got minus two thirds, minus one half, minus one third, and here are the final relationships for our homogeneous system. W is now two thirds Z. X is equal to one half Z. Y equals one third Z, and we see the three, we see the two, we see the three. A least common denominator for those fractions would be two times three or six, so that's why we're setting Z equal to six. Once we know Z is equal to six, we can go back to the original equation, W, X, Y, Z, and now place those variables in. And here we are, four, nit or four ammonia molecules, three oxygen molecules react to form two nitrogen molecules plus the six water molecules. So you can do this at home. I'd like to end by saying we've got a couple of websites and here's my associate Skelly Skeleton who would like to introduce them to you. Hey Dr. Bones, you out there in TV land can go to drboneshow.com or brainbuildingshows.com.